unmuted and thank you I love you hang up close Piper I'm live close the door blow you kisses all right thank you baby what's going on friends that's right it is friday night vape stew friday and oh my gosh things are all out of uh sorts it's it's been a cluster just to get here uh i'm excited to be here back at it for you guys um and yeah i've got be prepared for dangle clacks and uh we'll talk a little bit more about it but first things first you guys should grab yourself an awesome piece of hardware something tasty to vape on something delicious to drink sit back relax and enjoy the show my name's stan and you have found the tenacious tx vapes channel Say what's up, panel. What are we doing? We look like deer. Why are you muted? Are you muted? I'm not muted, but oh. I, was, I was doing my ah. uh, <laughs> doing my swag is impressive. I forgot to turn my light on. What up? There's there's enough dangle clacks happening tonight. Don't freak me out like that, man. <sighs> what are you freaking me out for? So okay. Here's the deal. I got a fancy new computer. Thank you to my patrons for helping me uh, be able to get that. And Swaggins for helping me put it together. And Ender's other game, or just Ender's as you guys know them, uh, for helping me put that together. You guys are amazing. Hashtag super friends for life. Um, now, the problem is, see, is that I left all my stuff on the other computer. Uh, <laughs> So I thought I imported it over, and not everything came. So it got, like, transitions and stuff, but the weight screen didn't show up. I got to go dig that out. Um, some other things, the, the logos, mm. things like that. And... Muy peligroso. This is... We're, we're coming back. This is a <laughs> test. This is a test stream. Let's call it the test stream on Stan's new, uh, Stan's new rig. So hopefully you guys are getting full 60 frames 1080p out there and enjoying it and it sounds good and it looks good hopefully swags and nick look okay because they're always upset that they look terrible um so <laughs> we, i still look like crap uh well that's yeah that's we do sound fault. like crap i'm you're coming in way louder in my left ear than my right ear wait well stan told me to turn my gain up so i did tell him to turn his gain up it's your fault no it's stan the it's show's not... not coming through my right headphone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. I'm in a I'm in a hold on. I am in a freaking single analog. You know, this is the kind of How shit that I have to that deal up? with people. I try to give him constructive advice. You know what? You, you buh, the buh. Just, I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. Week. Uh, I got a parachute. I can jump off this burning flight anytime. Oh, I want. <laughs> my freaking head hurts. See, it's a test stream. Audio input, <clears throat> add source. Add is source. It, is it a test stream? It's a test stream. Shut up. I, I don't know why it's only coming in. Analog. Nick, if you'd shown up earlier than five minutes before the show, I would have remembered that it, when you showed up, I wanted to eat a gummy. <laughs> Well, quick, eat two now. I'm going to wait. What? I'll wait until after the buffet. Is, uh, am I coming in through both now? What's up, Hello? church? Hello? Am I coming What's in through Adrian, both now? up, Adrian, you? I don't know. You're on my left monitor, so. Oh, my gosh. I hate you guys both. Um, <laughs> you know what? Just for that, 
let's do let's get these guys something something to be here and hang out for uh let's do some shout outs with mr daily bait tv well you want pictures or not I don't know. I don't even think that'll work, anyway. So, anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> hi, everyone. Hello. Just hit go. Well, <laughs> good evening, Charles. Welcome to the show. Uh, first of all, we have Grizzly Vapes. How are we doing today? Do you want me to do my radio voice? They like your radio voice. Uh, <clears throat> Well then, welcome people to the Awesome Vape Stew Show, where awesome things happen. We have Grizzly Vapes in chat, as well as our lovely mom raider, Livia Lee, holding it down, getting rid of all the trolls. We've got Rick Crawford in chat, as well as Vapor Swaggins. What's up, my dude? Yeah. Matt Oswald's here, as well as Steel Valley Vapors. Frames Janklin Vapor checking in with us, as well as Ender's Other Game. Amy Klopp is here, as well. Hello, Amy. How are you doing we've got anthony ramella in chat as well also sean typhon we have a lot of wrenches going on in here in chat so let's get ready to rumble jenny sin designs hello hello we've got tony jenkins andy summerfield <clears throat> we got alex davila mr hobag we've got taking a voop an advocate for liberty reaper vapes thomas hall adrian you be optimist there we go i got through that one just barely be optimistic you goober <laughs> All I see is Stay be positive. optimist, Stan. Don't patronize me. <laughs> We've got Ben Hodgson. We've got Check. Andrew Grubb. DC Rackley's here as well. We've got an 808 Kevin K saying aloha. We've got Martin Vaughn. Uh, who else do we have? PSS. We've got Al out of Anks. Two more left. We've got ourselves a tech guy, Brian and hey, Brian. last but not least dave b wins the raffle for the last one on today's last ah he got the kill cam kill kill shot cam c -c 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 combo wait what combo breaker <laughs> so All right. is is there echo now or is my audio working okay you guys let us know out there in chat. Did you, did you you didn't forget to shout out adrian you did you nick he's a modder from malaysia I said Adrian you. All right, good. We're going to talk about, he's got a new RDA coming out. We're going to talk about that on Sunday on the High End Vape Forum. Check it out on Stan's Ooh. channel. Check this out. This is called Local Group Double Vertigo 8.6 Crowler. See, I'm having a hard time believing you. You want to ask me why? Why? Because it's written in semi-permanent marker. That's because it's a Crowler. It Keyword of that semi, semi hyphen permanent. You could have erased came, it and uh, written a higher number. Great echo. Damn it. There's tons of reverb. See, mother son Rip. of a. Press F for respect. I think it's just you. It is just me. Sound like you're in a closet in the bathroom. You know what? I I can't I can't figure it out during the stream. I just have to go with. Uh... If for some reason the mic's only coming through analog. Oh, now I'm echoing. No, no, no. I can't. I'm it. hollow. It's because you guys were coming through. Hold on one second. Let me see here. Channels require a restart. Stan got a new computer. Thanks, patrons. <laughs> Don't be mean to the patrons, brah. Dude, they're not my patrons. I can do what I want. You know what? Whatever. What? <laughs> Hold on. I got you. I'm resetting. Uh, they can't hear you. All right. Now, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh. Wait, Wom, thanks for the five dollars. He says oh. semi sounds dirty. Semi, semi. Okay, so just so that, you, yep. Look, Grim Green Cup getting full. I'm just <gasps> coming. You in got one a Grim speaker. Cup? I do have a Grim Cup. Need to make a drink for this. I oh think. man, that's the most exciting thing since I saw you uh, take the most massive dry hit off of the Reverie. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Appreciate you. Nick is spicy today. That's for sure. He's He's got an attitudinal problem. Um, yeah. I'm just going to have to be mono channel until next stream. This is a test stream. You know, what, what are we doing? Uh, cheers. You know what I've oh, really been getting into lately? What? Fine wine. Really? I drink I drink it all the time. I can't help myself. I don't believe you. Rightly so. You know what else you can't help yourself with? Fine vape hardware. Why Twinkies, ho hos, anything pretty much little Debbie. That's what? me. That's me. I'm the fat man here. Oh. You don't eat. I eat for both. That's of true, us. I don't eat. I have to smoke cannabis legally in order to be able to uh eat. It's it's a medication for me. Anyways, vaping on swaggins. Yeah, don't be like that, bro. Because I'm <laughs> repping your shit tonight, and I'm doing it for free. This is the oh, purple ardent on top, uh, hybrided on true hybrid onto the purple aluminum dreamer, black button. I put a blowjob uh, tip on there by blowjob mods. Is it BJ mods? BJ, the guy that does the culverin. BJ, blowjob. Anyways, it's purple. It's <laughs> glorious. It Bueller. fits perfectly on top of there. Four holes open because I'm a puss head. Inside of there, I've got Pony on Acid by Smacks. There's your nicotine warning, you schmucks at YouTube. Next, I've got the uh, Stratum V4 Submariner, a little SX45J single 18650 device, Black Delrin. Uh, GT4S, 23 millimeter uh, single coil RTA right here with the tall tank, the stock tank. I got a faux nub tip, a 810 looking 510 tip. Summer colors from DHD. I always forget the name of it, but it is awesome. I love this tip. It's so comfy on my lips. Um, I threw out the bottle. Um, it's own boy mango in there. I went through oh. my second my second 100 mil and now I'm out because After I live the show. in... Don't a fascist state that doesn't allow me to buy flavored juice. Uh, so that's that. Next, I've got the Supernova by Stellar Mods with the S Tank by Stellar Mods on top. This is a DNA 60 little 1860 device. Tiny. Fun fact, I stayed up all night to, uh, to be able to buy this thing. It was totally worth it. Don't even ask. Uh, inside of there, I've got Pango by Transistor Pineapple Mango. Freaking love this juice. Freaking love it. Uh, and last but not least, I've got the Heavy Hitter, Black Coated Copper by Stan, Heavy Hitter, and Times Vape, uh, Heavy Metal heavy metal Vapor, sorry. And on top, <laughs> I've got the Asgard Mini with the 28 uh, ring on there because I saw Mike Vapes rocking it this way, and I was like, let me find that shit now. Looks DHD cool Chop Top. Cap. Yeah, dude. DHD Chop Top, uh, Purple Heart. I remember this one. It was a gift at NVE. Speaking of NVE, foreshadowing, that's all I'll say. Inside of there, I've got Smacks. She's a dime, a legacy favorite of mine. The cap's off because I can't be bothered to put it back on. I'm going to drip this right after I'm done talking, I promise. Uh, she's a dime. That's a lime cake pop with a lemon drizzle and pods because another fuck you to the government. And back to you, Stan. Awesome. Sorry, I had to flip it to live chat. Wigwam, um, elbow licking is one of my all-time favorite pastimes. Um, cool. And, I thought uh, it was whip it. Whip <laughs> Dude, what are you doing to me tonight? <laughs> um, yes, so this is not this is not Steel Reserve. Or what, what's that called? Steel Reserve, right? Colt 45. No. Ooh. And two zigzags, baby, that's all we need. Okay, um, I have to pull up. I want to talk a little bit about. Bam, there it is. I believe September 9th is the PMTAs. And because September 9th is the PMTAs, that is what we're going to talk about. <laughs> Pardon me while I burst into So, things. it's been the thing for a long time. You guys know it. Sorry, my ring light's all in my glasses. Um, <clears throat> it's been the thing. You guys know it. PMTAs are coming up. It's like, 
three weeks away, three weeks, September 9th. Um, so if you can, I have called the White House. I have called or emailed my representatives. And you know what pissed me off? I got an email back from my representative, um, the douchebag that is uh, that is the head of or that put out that bill for vape mail. Yeah, he was one of my representatives, uh, John Cornyn. <sighs> and he sent me back a, a whole response that sounded like he actually took the time to write something out because normally I get an automated response and then a couple weeks later I actually get a response from the um, you know a person whether it's him or one of his lackeys I don't know uh, but I got a response and it didn't even talk about any of the points I put on my email it was about COVID and all this crap in response to my email that I sent him and I was like I don't give a shit about that. That's not what I'm emailed you about. And it was very hard for me not to reply back nastily. However, I proudly nastily. had some nastily. That's a yeah. word. Yeah, it is. Uh, I In proudly had manner. some patience yeah. and responded cordially. Yes. Um, so just make sure that you guys, when you're doing this stuff, telling them about how the PT PMTAs are uh, unfair and, you know, hard for small companies to make and things like that um just be polite uh have some manners here's a word of advice don't burn a bridge because they're a bitch to rebuild <laughs> what <laughs> yeah you gonna go with that are you sure you didn't take that edible <laughs> absolutely <laughs> okay just wait just wait all right nice job Swaggins, what's with that hat, dude? That's a cool hat. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, but the the vape mail thing is still a thing. <laughs> the PMTAs is definitely a thing. Um, whether you're a Twitter Twitter hand, Twitter user uh, or a Water. Facebook user or you know, everybody should be calling the White House. The number will be in the description at the end of the video, um, and probably have some of our um, some of our moderators drop it in the chat. That would be awesome. So, the, to the White House switchboard, uh, we need to let them know. Uh, you know, we said it a thousand times, and I know it gets boring and redundant, but it's important for us to keep reiterating. Um, they need to hear our voices. So. I'm sorry, Alex Davila. I'm sorry, brother. You know, Dane B brings up a good point. He says, it's amazing how people who don't know anything about something can regulate it. And to that point, I also say it's amazing. And this isn't a, this isn't a jab at you, Dane. This is a general like statement about most people. It just blows my mind how many people complain about the people that are in political office when we all have the opportunity to vote and most of us don't. So, I mean, mm. That's, that's the funny thing about democracy. Speaking of that, make sure you're registered. Um, even if you think you're registered, it takes five minutes to check. So find out or Google it, check, make sure you're registered to vote. Uh, you definitely want to be voting. And you know what? I'm going to quote good old Mr. Green here and say, vote your hopes. Um, vote your hopes. What's that chick's name? Jorgensen? The um, she's the uh, the third party representative. Um, isn't that her name? Swags. What's who? Jorgensen. Uh, Janisha Janika Janika Jorgensen. Yeah. Ah, no. Janika. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what are you talking about? She's the daughter. <laughs> she's the daughter of the vice president Matthew Hamill. Um, <laughs> of what country? <laughs> I don't. Mark Povich, the vice president. <laughs> oh, Parrish, Mark oh, Parrish, the, the vice Mike president. Pence is our vice president. But Mike Pence, I, you know, sorry, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Pence, you, yeah. you got Samsonite. Me. I was way Samsonite. off. Samsonite. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, hold on. Let's see. You won't mail in vote. I don't think you should. 
why aren't they being reminded how financially deficient the postal service is and how much this ban will affect more of these problems what pardon we've talked about that a ton she isn't on the ballot in all states really what's up batman <sighs> The JoJo Dancer, says Anthony Ramella. That's it. Everybody write in the JoJo Dancer. Um, no, but seriously, vote your hopes. Make sure you register to vote. And uh, I want to vote. Sure I wanna, I'm going to write in Mark Parrish. There you go. Make sure you call uh, You call the White House, uh, the White House switchboard, and express to them your concerns. Because it's not right for everything going on right now. Uh, it, it's just not right. And I think we all agree, and we all feel the same, and we're all sick of hearing about it. So instead of continuing harping. to dwell on what? Harping is the proper. Uh... Yes. There you go. Instead of harping on it, because everybody knows now, uh, and uh, everybody knows already, and we all need to be doing something, we're going to hear what Mr. Daily Vape TV. Oh, and just by the way, you guys, he's not shopping on Amazon. He's not ignoring you. He was doing a favor for me, which... Uh, He's he's very slow at. How can I send them to you? Yeah, he's moving stuff. Did you ever see the movie Harry Potter? How they like put their sticks up against their temple and they pull those little like semen strings out of the sides of their head. Um, You know they're called they're called memories, but I wanted to give you guys a full visual and say the word semen. Um, That's what Nick's doing for later. Nick, what what are you vaping on, bro? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm uploading. I, I I don't. I can't figure out how to move them from my phone um, to your Dropbox. So I'm just gonna upload them to Dropbox and then share you a link. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so you you uploaded them to your own Dropbox. Yes. And sent me. You sent it to which email? Tenacious. I haven't done it yet. Still doing the thing. Okay. All right. So, I am vaping on the Caliburn UL Caliburn. Not gonna focus. Uh, yeah, I freaking love this thing. For anyone that is looking to quit smoking, I would highly recommend this one. And you know, or, or a loved one will say because you know this show is mostly uh, people that are pretty well established. Uh, next one. Oh, wait, this one has uh, fizzy lemonade in it, which is really good as well. If you haven't tried ah, basic, from glass, glass basics, fizzy lemonade, it's fantastic. Next one is the, I, I believe you call this a cross. Is that what it's called? It's XROS. Either way. I probably. Vapresso. They say this is better than this. I almost dropped it. Ah, it's so the caliber and killer. You're doing a direct comparison then? No, but they, they actually asked a bunch of reviewers to do that and they didn't ask me. So now I kind of want to do it just because. because Are they you didn't having ask. FOMO? Yeah, kind of. Uh, in there I've got Strawberry Palm Naked. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. No. Uh, it's not as, not as good as I thought it was going to be. Pineapple Orange Sounds Mango? Better. Huh? Pineapple orange mango? No, you would think with uh, you know their other one. That sounds delicious. Hawaiian pog. No, this is strawberry, pomegranate, kiwi, menthol. But all I get is, I get for I get menthol, 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 little strawberry, maybe tiny bit of kiwi. That's what I get. Um, so disappointed with that. I also have my heavy hitter on the go with Druga two with an axial. I got a Druga 2 in last week after uh, – after, I'm sorry. I'll tell you in a minute. Go ahead. Uh, some Fountain Blast Off, Mountain Dew flavor. And that's all I have on my desk. So that's what I'm vaping on apparently. All right. Cool. Um, dude, so, yeah, I agree, Chad. Lava Flow is the best. Um, Nick, you remember when I was on your stream uh, a couple weeks ago? Yes. And you asked me about the Druga 2, and I said, I don't really see a point, and blah, 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 and I don't they think I'm going to get it. 
Uh, two days after that, it showed up in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> you were just salty, dude. No, I wasn't. Like, I, it's sitting over there. I, I really didn't, like, I didn't have any kind of, they don't send me stuff normally, Augvape. Uh, and I really didn't even think about it, honestly. Um, but I'll, I'll look at it. It looks pretty damn good on the, on the heavy hitter. I'm not going to lie. What do you think made them change their mind? That's the real question. They need people to review it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I guess that's usually the case. They like, I get the stuff that a lot of people don't review because I'm like way down the line and I don't get a whole bunch of stuff anyway. So whenever they are hurting for reviews, they'll, they'll send me something occasionally. Last off is fire says over trip. Um, now, because everything is so jacked up, I don't have, I don't have my little go by sheet. I don't have nothing, so I'm 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 in a horrible spot tonight. Let's throw it down a hill. It is throw it. It's throw it down a hill time. Nick, are you excited about throw it down a hill? I am pretty excited about that. I was prepared for it for once. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, let's do a little throw it down a hill. And today, you watch yourself, Stephen Garlington. <laughs> My dude, Goober friend. Gazer. Goober Gazer, that's right. You can't gaze goobers as good as I can. Um Yeah. So tell us. I don't I don't have access to my Facebook. I don't have nothing on this computer yet. So I will start to try to look them up as you tell us what the um, candidates were this week, Mr. Nick. So we have, as per usual, uh, four options today or every week, uh, starting with the last place, which only got three votes, the EH pro fusion kit. The EH yes, pro fusion it. kit. Huh? EH, EH pro, pro fusion, fusion kit. kit? It, I never owned this one, but it was actually put on the list by my lovely patrons. Uh, we kind of brainstormed, and uh, they they said that was one that deserved to be on the list. So there you go. EH oh, Pro it. Fusion. I, I pay little attention to EH Pro to begin with. So, I mean, I did, don't expect them to come out with a banger of a mod, but it looks like it comes with an RDTA, which is never a good start. Either way, it only got three votes, and no one really made a big stink about it. So. Is that the Mesh RDTA? That Mesh RDTA one? Uh, now I have to do it. <laughs> what? Now I have to know what it is. <clears throat> we're, we're, this is a this is a fantastic show. Just so you yeah, know. we we just Google stuff live on the air. Yeah. Uh, well. Let's do it is. It's a. It looks like a regular coil atomizer there, Swaggins. Right but there. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Doesn't, doesn't look great. Just yeah. doesn't look good, in my opinion. Um, you know, it looks like the iJoy stuff that they were doing. Yeah, they definitely copied iJoy. 100%. <clears throat> All right. So, what was uh, the next one? That, that one got pr completely passed over by the rest of them here. Uh, in third place with 11 votes was the Vandy Vape Lit RDA. Now, in the comments here, uh, we, we do have Steven Sag saying, the Lit was a horrible idea. And uh, personally, I never had a Lit. Stan, did you have a Lit RDA? I did not have a Lit. I did not. I heard not. it was actually pretty, like, all right. And that made it even worse because no one wanted to vape something called Lit, the Lit RDA. All right, here we go. And here is what that one looks like. Bam. Uh, That's the, the RDA. Two screws like, and three, like a little middle post thing uh, to yeah. separate the coil leads. That was so, nah. I don't know. It looks like a copy of, what What was the other one that came out? That was like a, was that the oh, layer? Oh. Oh, sorry. People are still talking about the fusion. They're like asking it's a DNA 200. Sorry. You're talking about the lit. No, uh, definitely wasn't a DNA 200. It was, no, it, was, it wasn't. <laughs> I think I won that. Cash. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the lit looks like a direct ripoff of another 
RDA. It it kind of looks like what's that one that has the the sandwich plate in the middle? Is that the layer cake? Yeah. It does That's not look like a layer cake. cake. It doesn't. It looks like it would be a good vape, and it's unfortunate it's called the lit. I'd rather it be called the tit. It's lit, <laughs> fam. <laughs> oh, I think they were advertising it for dual mesh. That's probably one reason that uh, they hated it so much. Uh, uh, next. Next, we have the uh, in third or second place, rather, with 19 votes. It was the Acrome Fush Nano or Fush Nano. I don't know how you pronounce that. Fush. That's one I, I would have voted for that one. Yeah, the, that, that one got uh, quite the controversy in, in the comments. Swaggins so immediately commented, Fush Nan, no. Oh, but, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Swaggins, uh, Walter Pobli says, Fush, nah, no. <laughs> Which, <laughs> you know like, what, though? The the original Fush mod, Fush mod, Fish mod, uh, was was not that bad. I mean, it was a regulated bottom fire tube mod. It, it, sure, it lit up and everything. I mean, I played with it on the stream a couple times. Um, this thing was ugly, though. First of all, I yeah. mean, not that that should stop you from quitting smoking using something like you know, a tit useful RDA. or whatever. But my opinion, I think it's ugly and it's gimmicky with the lights and yeah just no just stop <laughs> um so and uh michelle lynn says push nano because that's what swaggin said so apparently you have a lot of pull around these parts swaggins you uh dirty now dirty man. with uh, a, a huge amount of votes here our first place winner and my vote is the smoke or smock miko it's a pod system that didn't fit the uh, the the Novo pods, which pissed a lot of people off. Uh, well, really, it pissed me off because people come in and they go, "Do you have pods for this?" And they see like the Nano, and they're like, "Or Novo," and they're like, "Oh, those those look like it." And I'm like, "No, nah, those don't fit." And they're like, "Oh, well, where am I supposed to get pods?" That one, uh, the internet. That one was a landslide, by the way. It was a landslide. Yeah, that one had 34 votes, which is. Uh, 15 more than the second place, which is pretty impressive. It so, looked like a me pod. It looked like a me pod. It was trying to be a me pod. It was a piece of shit. Let's face it. <laughs> um, the smoke just rides the coattails of everybody. When was the last time they drove the market and innovated? I mean, granted, it seems like every the single Infinix. company is just ripping each other off back and forth and left and right and all that. I just don't see anyone innovating these days as of recently. Okay. Maybe that's just me. So that is throw it down a hill. Let's theoretically throw that one down the, or, or not theoretically, let's throw it down the metaphorical hill. That's what I meant to say. I still want a gif of you throwing shit down a hill. Like, yeah. a, like a lawn chair or something. doesn't even matter. Just It'll go be to the top of the hill, seconds. have somebody videotape you from like a downward up angle and just chuck a, chuck a chair or something I, I don't even care what it is or Chuck yourself a throw yourself a microwave do you throw a microwave or an old tv not a flat screen one of the old boxy ones you know that our grandparents our great great grandparents used to use throw myself down a hill no mogul uh, you're wrong that is that is not okay cheesecake is not pie cheesecake is its own entity yeah. cheesecake is just just gross it's delicious who What's wants a cake made out of cheese? Gross. <laughs> That's like having like a carrot cake. cake. Who wants some... to puree up some carrots and then throw some frosting on top of it? That's a that's a mess. Carrot cake. Carrot cake. What? What, what do you? Why do you? What do you? Where does this hate for cake come from, Swaggy? I love cake. I just don't like cake that's made out of carrots or cheese. Wigwam said, hell, I can't come up with... Why do I keep seeing Wigwam's comments? Hell, I can't come up with how many pods come out. It's ridiculous. It's true. Um, Throw Nick in the garbage, says Alex Davila. Oh, no. That's not very nice. Has anyone seen the new Fuchai 213? Is it bad? I want one for nostalgia purposes. What? I must look. Fuchai 213 2020. 
Da -dun -da -dun 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 -dun. Nope, all I see is old food chais. And cheap vaping deals. Mm. That's it. Sorry, buddy. Where is... Let me see. Okay, so... Throw it down a hill. If you guys have any questions or any comments or you guys just want to tell us how bad tonight's show is, go ahead and email vapestew at gmail.com. Um, and I will get on that in just a little while. That's vape stew. No more anti-Semitic emails, please. I can take a joke, but I mean, some of the stuff you've been sending us has been really on the line. And, and all the DPs and the DMs, not okay. Yeah. Um, pardon? Um, I'll, I'll forward them to you. Nick, you, you don't can, want uh, it. you can do, uh, that's why I ratings. stopped checking the vapes to at gmail.com email. You notice how Stan never asked me to check anymore. It's because I'm scarred for life. <laughs> oh, Jiminy crickets. Well, did you, have you received anything new that you are interested, super interested in, uh, Mr. Daily Vape TV lately? Uh, I mean, the pod systems are kind of cool. I actually did get something in and I, I kind of want to open it, but I don't have, I don't have a juice worthy of it yet is, uh, this guy right here, the zero. The zero. Ah, the new zero. The new zero with the mesh pod. So. Throw some 12 here. milligram side D by, uh, Violent Vapor Deep Cuts. It's the Blueberry Hill. That'd be bomb in there. Does sound pretty good. Yeah. Sorry, I'm logging into my one second. So continue to speak. Uh, ah. Nick. <laughs> uh. Anything else? Nice job. Nice job. You guys are amazing. Us? You asked him. I, I have stuff lined up. I got things I'm looking forward to. I want to get. I don't know where What's my up? files just went. I, I clicked upload to Dropbox and they just refresh control R I've, I've been it I've been refreshing all the well, swaggins, you tell me what you're time. excited about oh I really want to get Stan to help me procure an ether RTA by the vape and bogan and whatever company he worked with I forget the name of it suicide but it doesn't matter mods. huh suicide mods suicide mods sure anyways uh, I want to get the ether RTA I've been hearing good things about it. I think it looks clean and sexy. Uh, I'm a huge fan of clean and sexy. And if I don't have to spend a high-end price on something that looks clean and sexy and people say vapes well, then I'm totally down. So I want to get one of those in stainless. I really want to get a Haster mod because I think that would be pretty dope to put the Ether RTA on. I don't know if I'll get it. Um, I like that Drag X. I really kind of want a Drag X. But I, I don't know about you guys out there, but... I got a million pod systems and pod mods and mouth to lung variations. And I just keep searching for that pocketable work mod, you know, always searching for it. Can never find it. What's this over here? Oh, look, that's a BMI. You know, I got all these things and then I just wind up with these. So I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just about nicotine on the go, but those mods, those, that RTA, I would love to uh, rock that RTA for a little bit, see if it's any good. Ah, so the Segeli Fog. Thank you, Swaggins. The Segeli Fog is what he was talking about. And if I can get it to show up at a decent size, I will let you look at it. It is a very familiar looking mod. There we go. Oh, come on with this. Okay, it's it's pretty it's pretty pixelated. I can't find a clear image, but this is what he was talking about. It's not the food chai, it's the fog 213. It is a kit that comes with a sub ohm tank. It is uh very interesting. It looks just like the food chai. It kind of looks shorter. So I don't know anything about it. Uh definitely interesting. We'll see if we can get Nick one. <laughs> Cause he's the only guy they send stuff to. <laughs> What? There you go. Um, I haven't really seen, photo. huh? It's a really grainy photo. Oh, I remember that. That looks like the uh, that looks like 
almost like a regulated version of that mod that I won when I was a patron of Nick, the uh, voltage mod. The voltage the vo only mod. You want a voltage mod from Mr. Daily Vape TV? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That thing is good. All right, so you can have a taste hey, of this here. Is that the – no, it's not the same. I need to make myself a drink. This is the Dovpo V, I v, think. That, yeah, that's the V. It's the time. V. It's drink o'clock. Yes. Vape stew. Yes. Old Sexy school. shorts, Mr. Daily Vape TV. All right, so tonight <clears throat> I am rocking the uh, – what is this? The billet box. All – fancied out um inside that i've got the evil reaper v th or i'm sorry not the reaper v3 the evil alien um boro kit and inside that i am rocking some vaptasia strawberry killer custard this product contains nicotine um also i am rocking the mix with the gt4s on top and there's that with juice all over it. And inside that, I've got this 5150 Pandora's box. Because everybody loves Pandora's box. Um, next, I've got a Dreamer 1.5 in stainless steel with the copper button. That's how it comes. This is the stainless steel Dreamer 1.5. It comes with the copper button and the stainless barrage on top. Uh, yeah. Inside that, I've got Kelly's Strawberry, Kelly Kell's Strawberry Unicorn Dew. And last but certainly not least, I've got the Heavy Hitter with the Dang RDA on top of that. Dang. And inside that, I've got Smacks. Uh, what's this called? Pony on Acid. Pony on Acid. So that's what I am vaping on tonight. Check this out. These are those... These are those good, good Sammy Nitro coils. Uh, these are those good, good Sammy Nitro coils. Um, Sammy Nitro and Breeze Tones make some of the best damn coils out there. Awesome stooges that make awesome coils that are available at your favorite retailer. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a .14, by the way. That's very... Whoa, you said your resistance? That's, that's because it's a 30 amp battery with a 0.14 on it. It's totally okay. What? <laughs> no, sorry, I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> Am I wrong? Is it 0.14 or 0.15? That's 30 amps. Just it doesn't kidding. matter. It doesn't matter. I'm over it. Um, I'm over it. <laughs> stream. That's it. What did you say in stream? The, ah, never heard of that one. Which one, Rob Jones? Fancy, ugliest billet known to man. Chad, you watch your mouth. That is not ugly. I have to agree with him. That is the quadruple anodized mums door. I think it's on cool. The EX9 with the never normal whistle tip and button and green clickies with green. Dude, this thing's awesome. Shut your face hole. I think it's cool putting it out there. Your opinion Same. hasn't mattered since the 90s, Nick. Hey. Hey. Go churn some butter. I can like it's too late for that. And blue and shit if I want to, okay? I can I can do that. I mean, it, it's just it's like funkadelic, man. It reminds me of my the inside of my PC. Email us pictures of your setups. What are you vaping on right now? If you send us a picture of it at vapestew at gmail.com, maybe Stan will screen share your setup and give you a special shout out. Hell yeah, I can do that. Um, I can definitely do that. Phil Birkenheimer or Berkheimer says they didn't nearly they didn't make nearly enough black heavy hitters. I had three times the amount of black heavy hitters than any other color, and they sold like that. Uh and they're making more. It's just how it goes sometimes. Um, PSS said it's different, but not so pretty. Uh, he's talking about your your computer. Um, <laughs> my taste is not stuck in '90s Miami. Okay, 
I was born in the 80s. I grew up in the 90s. I was stuck in the 50s. Okay, that's just how my life is. I, I like colors. I like checkerboard patterns. You should see the awesome right here, right there in that empty spot. I have a original badass barber pole that I'm yep. going to hang right there. It's that used uh, to hang in my grandfather's invisible. house. Huh? You can only see it with black light, right? No, dude. It's, oh, it's, it's real? Legit. Yeah, it's a legit barber pole. I have a piece of the Sistine Chapel. No, the old North Church from Boston before they tore it down or some shit. I have that. In my, it's what's well, in my parents' basement. So you have but, a piece of rock? No, it's a piece of a wooden steeple. <laughs> in a, like a glass case. A piece of wooden steeple in a glass yeah. case? Yep. Why don't you have it uh, framed in like up on your wall? Because I'm not Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to kill me. No Nick more. always drinks from the spout. All right. So. She's the baby. We had a little, uh, we were talking, Swags and I were talking, and we kind of wanted to do a little reminiscing. Like we were talking about tri uh, about vape shows and things like that. Uh, we've been missing them. Okay. I mean, I know I miss them. Uh, uh, Nick, do you miss vape shows as much as I do? You yeah. guys have way more experience than I do though. Like literally I had a last hurrah, like the last year of real, really having vape expos, you know, in the States where they were a thing. Um, I went to like three in a matter of three months or two months. Mm -hmm. And then it just like blew up in September. Only well, one that you had to fly to, though. Mr. Daily it's Vape true. TV never sent me his link. I tried. That's okay. We'll look at a couple of uh, Use couple something of real like Google Drive instead of Dropbox, dude. Dropbox sucks. Yeah, I told him to use Google Drive. Oh, my gosh. My Google Drive was full. I got You have go 15 gigs it. for free. I have 15 emails. You know what that equals? 15 times 15. <laughs> oh my god no it's more than 300 i got a coupon code 15 times 15 let's do that math hey siri really? what's 15 times 15 oh you cheater 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 pumpkin eater close up it's 225 really who's the baby kitty that's 225 right. free gigabytes of so space. while you guys are flooding the email with your awesome setup images or, um, you know, uh, <laughs> inappropriate jokes about um, Nick's cat. I am going to show you guys. Know. Shave that pussy. He's my baby. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some awesome images from years past uh, of the music. some vape stew peoples. No, we're not going to. We're going to talk about them. our lives. <laughs> so. And I'll kind of give you guys a description fifth, of it first, Swaggins. <laughs> Mine was vitamin C. As we go on being together. Vitamin C? Something, something, <laughs> knit a sweater. What? Do you remember that yeah. song? Uh, oh, I got to take bean. my vitamins. Look at these little Do you remember that song? No. Oh. All right. So here we go. This first one is this is why I miss this is why I miss trade shows because this is Mr. Frames Janklin, Mr. Poon Sauce McNasty, a uh, fully bearded Vapor Swaggins and a clown vapes right there eating some kind of fast food. I don't even know what that is. That was Wendy's, bro. Wendy's? So the, story, the story behind this photo is it was after ah. Expo. We were looking on, you know, we were yeah. driving back from the Expo trying to find a place to eat quick on our way back so we had to pick some stuff up and we wound up at wendy's poon sauce puked in the parking lot before or after look at the cop in the background i didn't even notice that the cop just chilling in that parking lot it was a good part of town um i think that dan spilt ketchup everywhere Jump. uh there was a crackhead coming in and out trying to get food and i think that she hit on clown or dan one of the two of them um and there i am uh fondling poon sauce's nipple uh to make his baby kick i wouldn't expect anything less 
The next picture, we got a few. I'm just gonna. It, why? Why won't it go to the next one? Um. Well, shit. Close. <laughs> there we go. Oh. So precious. Um, that that is in San Antonio. Uh, that's one of the first shows I ever went to. That is me and oh, what's her name? She's an Instagram model. She was a vape. You should make this a separate screen so that they can see our reactions while we're talking about this. Come on. You should use low right. latency mode so we can see it faster than 10 oh, seconds. Oh, I, yeah. I should just keep should shooting should and should. <laughs> well, this is how things get better, are they not? You're right. You're right. Hold on a second. Let me do this. Look, Let it's a add... picture of Stan with somebody with makeup on and hair in their blue. Yeah, she was nice. Um, She was nice. She was. Hold on a second. Let me do this. Uh, display capture. Add. I love how you really like photoshopped your face to get rid of all of your pores, make your skin look real smooth. Oh yeah, that's filtered like an sob. Yeah. Hold on, but I figured she would be appreciative of that. That's how she, she like she's one of those Instagram peoples that has like all of the filtered pictures. Okay, there is. There is. There we go. All right, so next bam there we go yeah well done sir super airbrushed yes it is super airbrushed and that's okay next bam there is me and a pandora blue and turbo which was cool as hell he wanted a lucid real bad it was awesome so i gave him a lucid that was cool uh i don't remember where this was, was this in san antonio too i think this was in san antonio as well um there's me and texas vapor babe also on instagram sweetheart uh, shop owner in dallas area or farther north than that that's me and the wifey why can i see stream labs in the corner <laughs> where it's just on the screen yeah you can yeah oh, my bad <laughs> it's covering us dude <laughs> my bad all right is that better just a bunch of selfies of stan with hot chicks like what right. the hell stan you know his priorities so, what are your memories stan just me with chicks Show uh, this is off. just i just dumped a bunch of pictures from shows into the thing and they're probably I thought gonna... about all my shit this is where i met um angela and nick garrity this was a show that they put on that back there's mean john green if you know your switch mods you know that man right there um this was the tank sauce rep at the time. And, yeah, you can see he's got a switch mod right in his hand there before he was Mr. Purge guy. Uh, he got me extremely, extremely plastered, whooping me ridiculously at beer pong like seven or eight times. It was not cool. Um, oh, my goodness, look at that. That is Swaggin's face swapping with Stanley. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there. What? <laughs> uh, oh, that's that's awesome. a good memory right there. I remember the time that I uh, that I was oh a dog. Oh my gosh, that kind of scares me. What else can I find in here? Uh, I thought I paid attention. Um, that is me and Buffalo Juice Girl from another. She has a somewhere. name, you know. I don't um, know it, but she does. I don't either. I call her Buffalo Juice Girl, and she was okay with it. Uh, let's see here. The next one, there's me and Nick, uh, Mr. Grim Green, and Eric Vinyl and Vapor, and Nick is grabbing my butt. Look at you um, showing off with your celebrity I'm just friends. saying, dude, the, mo most of these pictures in the front are mine, so I'm sorry. We'll get to yours in a minute. And Daily Bay TV didn't send any. Um, oh, I have a ton, though. There is a Photoshop that some stooge did of me as Al Bundy. <laughs> Oh, dude, where did all these pictures come from? <laughs> what pictures? Oh, I can't see, see them second. until like 20 I seconds after. I don't want to talk about it. I didn't mean to put those there. <laughs> this is uh, Food Sauce McNasty, Mr. Frames Janklin. There's Oh My Lanta, uh, Mr. Dan, and Clown Vapes with Vapor Swaggins in the middle, all holding out Dole Dime mods, or mostly holding out Dole Dime mods, um, in front of the Transistor that was N booth. That was NVE, right? That was NVE, yes. Uh, yeah, the Omis. Uh, there's churning butter. Did you put that in there? <laughs> you son of, what is with the churning butter? I don't understand what the churning butter thing me is either, about. Me either, bro. Me either. 
Well, why is it on your screen and in the file? It's a butter bomb, son. Oh, God. Butter bomb, <laughs> You got butter bomb, son. He got butter bombed. This right here is a Michelle Doldime picture with all the Doldimes and all the people that were at MVP what a great that memory. got a Doldime in the past. Uh, it was awesome. I just got to the bar with the Thanks, gun shooting butter. <laughs> what? By lantern light. <laughs> this was actually a really fun picture to take. Uh, it was it was kind of hilarious trying to get all these folks in one little spot to take a picture. There's Sammy Nitro all the way in the back. All right, this next one. Uh, this is Poon Sauce. Uh, he had to make sure that he was touching every man in the room at once because he was trying to spread the love. Yeah. Won't even show up. Uh, this is... Oh, look! There's Dr. Demo. And there's uh, villains in the background. I was at the Stooge Mansion. This was at... Hashtag Stooge House. Yeah, this was the Stooge House uh, where a lot of Stooges stayed and freaked out Demo. It was awesome. Nobody could see. You guys are small on the screen right oh, now. Oh, that's like, right, yeah. Shit. Um, that's that's nice, Swaggins. Everybody's flipping off the camera. That's that's awesome. Yeah, that's the yeah. minivan. We left Poon Sauce at the <laughs> airport because he was taking too long. So we left, and but we made sure we called him. We made she waited for Demo, and then they drove in like a fucking sports car all the way to Connecticut. Hey, this is a uh, Poon Sauce and Ao, my dude Ao. I miss you, bro. And there's Daily Vape TV all chilling in my studio, right back here. In the corner <laughs> they stuck me in the corner you guys i stuck him in the corner dude look how tall he is why are you so tall daily why do you have a st small house this was the um the picture that the vape showcase asked us to take in houston uh so that they could put it on their instagram because they thought we were vape models this is a uh, me daily vape tv and poon sauce um no i took that photo and that <laughs> never happened <laughs> This is that was right after we walked in from the oppressive heat of Houston. Like that place is literally the devil's butthole for heat. It's hot. It's hot. No joke. There's Angela Garrity right there, and uh, Mr. Daily Vape TV. And is this Captain Crimson? Is that, that Captain, is Captain Crimson? Crimson? If he's a redhead, that's Captain it is Crimson. thighs. It's thighs. All right. And there's Ao Vape falling asleep because he uh, he got really 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 drunk. And bought a um, Ferrari. This oh dude, there's not gonna be any like unsavory things in these images, is there? Uh this is right after I hit Poon Sauce in the testicles. I'm glad that uh actually Nick didn't upload pictures because he has a picture of me in my underpants. <laughs> I can't see chat, so let me know if anything interesting comes through chat. Um uh, this is right after we got everybody Whataburger. And this was a video taste test that we tried to accomplish. The actual video exists. It is an absolute shit show. We came home from the brewery. Nick and me and Ao all went to a brewery that was like two blocks away. We drank a ton and then came home and tried to record a video. And uh, it did not work out. And I think the only witness besides people that were there was the mama raider in Discord. Look at Nick in the back. Just yeah. you guys locked him in that closet with all the cockroaches. This yeah, this uh this house was was infested. Elegantly... Huh? Infested. Yes, we, we it was called the it Bugs and Drugs House. Hotel Bugs and Drugs, that's right. <laughs> Stan uh, didn't know I was there for like fifteen minutes. Oh, there's Todd Black and then there's also uh Captain Captain Crimson and Nick Garrity. And me and Poon Sauce and Ao and Daily and Swaggins with his awesome selfie skills. Yeah, I notice how none of my selfies are just with random chicks that are the vape models. I was like, take a picture of me with my friends because those Bro, were the memories I was trying to make. Why would you put this picture of my totally trash studio in here with me with no hat on, looking like a goober? Because this is behind the scenes. This is what people <laughs> need to remember. Like that was the best part. The community. The people hanging Everybody out all... in bug infested Airbnb houses that were super cheap as you split it like 10 ways. It was awesome. I invited the Stooges over to come I hang out. I slept in a sleeping bag. 
Go ahead. It was a lot of fun. There's my Rick and Morty up there and my B9 robot. All right. Uh, this is when I met Twisted 420 at one of the first shows. This was in San Antonio that I ever went to. No, that wasn't one of the first, was it? I don't remember. It may have been the second San Antonio show. I don't know. Uh, here's us cruising to get kolaches, I believe. This is me, Daly, and Mr. Swaggins in the back. Uh, were we cru- that, that was either when you picked us up at the airport or when we were going. It was probably the airport. Because I was oh, that was the airport. You sat in the yeah. back seat. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That was the airport. Hell yeah. That was fun. You guys got to experience Houston traffic. You had a brand, yeah, you had a brand new truck, dude. I love. Didn't it? Didn't Crimson the Crimson Fist? Didn't he have like <laughs> like a, like an inch of water in his car too? And, and Boon Sauce, yes. everybody drove with him, and he had just had water in his floor because his AC kept leaking or something. Shit. He was driving around all week. This is hilarious. Look, Captain Crimson put his huge hand up to cover up my address. This is in front of my house before everybody left. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that was an accident. That that was a, a Snapchat thing for my daughter. Uh, there's AO making a funny face. There's uh, Swaggin's titties. <laughs> I'm not there yet. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that right, is a I found some pictures and I'm uploading them. Huh? I found some pictures from my. You're uh, putting them in here? Yeah. All right, hold on. I have to go back because we're at the beginning, so I have to make sure. Uh, let me jump back to here. Swaggin's titties. Dude, that looks so real. <laughs> <laughs> my beat, my jewel encrusted nipples. All right, My well, wife brought that shirt home for me, or I, maybe I think it was her. She brought it home. Yeah, she went down to New Orleans. She brought that shit back for me. And I still have that. <laughs> so, okay, here's all the ones by Nick. So let's jump here. All right, so this is one. Fog Dog said that's disturbing. Explain yourself. <laughs> Swaggins was one of the first OnlyFans users to exist. It's true. (laughs) Three years ago. (laughs) This is Swaggins and Nick in the airport. What looks like in... Is this in Massachusetts? Yeah, Boston. Yeah, people are like, are you brothers? (laughs) They literally said that. Yeah. (laughs) The two the nice old couple across from us, they were going to like the Caribbean or something like, are you guys brothers? You guys had a real love connection going on that weekend. This is you guys hugging in my studio. There is a triple or a double Whataburger. Is that a triple? Dude, you ate a triple bacon cheeseburger? Did I? Holy crap. Look, and there's a there's a Hopadillo can up there that Poon Sauce drank them all. Um <laughs> This is a picture from inside the brewery we were at. See, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Uh, this is when Nick and I tried to do a, oh, a AO burger. filmed for us, me and Nick, a beer tasting um, extravagant. Nick, how did that go? Why did you cut that from your vlog? We did a whole beer tasting segment that was kind of hilarious that nick cut out of his vlog so you guys never got to see it um x1 in chat if nick needs to upload it the super secret one (laughs) here i'm Uh, uploading some more stuff (laughs) this is uh papado seafood which we all went to to eat with uh mike vapes and and steven garlington footed the bill what a mensch yes right Stephen Garlington, look, there was like 20 of us. Yeah. Stephen Garlington paid for our entire dinner. Everybody. Yeah, that was easily like $100. Easily. Yeah. And he didn't t- tell anybody till the end. So we all like, yeah. like we were going to pay for ourselves, like, you know, whatever we wanted kind of thing. And if he would have told me, I would have ordered a little less. But yeah, I, I mean, I, if he had told me, I didn't order anything. I wasn't even hungry. I was stuffed. And I didn't order. If I knew that he was paying. I would order the most expensive thing and not taking a bite. Thank you, Steven. Next time. 
That's, I had a that's great conversation with him afterwards. We went back to the Bugs Not Drugs house, and Mike Bapes was there. We watched Marble Olympics. We watched Frank and his cousin <laughs> build a pool underground in the jungle. That's right, we did. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. We even no, watched the no green more. room. We watched the green room live at there the Bugs Not Drugs house. Play the video I put in. Oh, should I be scared? No. Okay, hold on. It's not me with my underpants on, is it? No, I didn't see the video you that you had, Swag. Oh no! <laughs> with, I didn't see any of the videos you were talking about, Swag. I didn't upload them. All right, here we go. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work with audio. Let me check. All right, Michelle, I tracked him if down. If you're sharing you. computer Look sound, then it'll Mike work. <laughs> Mike Vapes. <laughs> Michelle. Audio Mike Vapes. <laughs> Mike Vapes. This is Mike Vapes. Hi, Michelle. We love you. Mike Vapes. <laughs> Mike Vapes. <laughs> 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 He did an impression of somebody doing an impression. That's what he did. <laughs> He's also hammered. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be very appreciative of us sharing that. Um, as you guys can see, uh, the community is amazing. Nick, play the Stanley the Viking <laughs> Snooze comp video. What? Um. Uh, I miss I miss those things. Um, I miss those shows. I miss the time with friends and meeting new people. Uh, I miss the community. Uh, it's a, it's a shame that that's not something we're able to do right now. And I hope, I hope, I wish with all of my wishes. There you go. That uh, Demo gets those knee pads finally. That no, um, no <laughs> it's been a long time been a long time no i wish with all my wishes that one day we'll be able to get back to that point um because it's really 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 a positive thing for the industry positive thing for the community and it's a positive thing for society as a whole uh to be able to i know that it's a super positive thing for those people that struggle with smoking to be able to hang around with other people and and actually you know get excited and be positive and have a good time and feel supported, you know? Um, Dude, just generally speaking, like strip everything away from it and just look at it <clears throat> black and white. It It's, it's a place where you get to go. It's like, it's a central place where you get to go. You walk through those doors and everybody in there pretty much has a passion for the same thing you have a passion for. You can walk up to any person in there and you can have a conversation and, and, and become like, bros you know become friends with anybody because everybody's riding the high and the excitement of being there seeing the products talking to people vaping talking about what they like what flavors they like it's electrifying you know and uh and the the friendships that you make out of out of these conventions you know whether it's vaping or it's comic-con or it's youtube convention or whatever they they'll last a lifetime the memories we made will last a lifetime and, and i really I long for more of them. Uh, absolutely. Like, honestly, you know, take the, take the convention out of it. And the people that I've, I've, I've made fit friendships with in the community, I just meet with them and enjoy that. That was, that was, if anything, the best part, you know, uh, some of those conventions, it's like, uh, I think Houston was kind of dead and, you know, it was the people that made it. Like if I hadn't gone down there to meet up with the, the eight or 10 people that we hung out with while we were there, it would have been like a meh trip because it was a, it was a meh convention. So it's the people that make the convention, but the fact that the conventions don't exist to bring the people kind of sucks right now. Right. And um, the one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, I know we didn't do it in, uh... oh, damn it. I forgot where it's at. Let me find it. Hold on. I know we didn't do it in the what's the scoop. But there is a vape rally coming up. Um, <clears throat> I know not everybody is, you know, down to get out in public or in big groups. And you know what would be awesome is if everybody went out to this vape rally and stood six feet apart from each other and just covered up, like, the whole block. Because <laughs> they were all being social distancing. Um I'm going to my community tab real quick because I posted the information there. Here we go. The Save the Vape Rally 
is at 1450 Pennsylvania Avenue uh, Northwest Southwest Quadrant the Ellipse Washington DC on September 5th okay the PMTAs are on September 9th if you can make it to this thing you really really should um, I went to the last one I really want to go to this one but unfortunately I can't make it to this one um, due to my job so but I really, really am upset that I'm going to have to miss it. Uh, I wish I could go. But if you can go, if you're in the area, if it's an hour drive or whatever, please, please go and make an appearance here. Um, show your support. Let them know what the problem is. Hold on a second. I'm trying to get to where I can share the actual flyer here. Uh, mm -hmm. Internet. There we go. So there it is right there. Um, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Hashtag we vape we vote. Hashtag uh, PM, PMTA reform. Uh, September 5th, 2020. I'm still going to see what I can do to try to get there. Um, but I can't make promises, unfortunately. But if you can, if by if you can get there, please, please, please make it there. Uh, and live stream it. Do whatever you can do to get the word out and get the images out and around. Um, it's very important. This is kind of the last hurrah before PMTAs, uh, before the PMTAs actually drop to, to try to let the, let the white house know, you know, what's going on. So <clears throat> if you can be there, be amazing, be there and please share, uh, so that I can, if I'm not there so that I can share also on my platforms and on Instagram and stuff so that people can see, um, I, I, if, if we just got to get it out there, we got to get it out there. We got to spread it around. Um, so don't forget and share that with somebody. If you got friends, uh, up in the Northeast, if you've got friends that are able to fly or can and or willing to venture out, uh, despite all the situation currently, then please let them know. <clears throat> Okay, so last but not least, there was emails. Let's do some emails. Bam, we've got some emails, vapestew at gmail.com. Uh, we asked you guys to send in your emails. And we did. Boom. All right, so let me see here. <clears throat> we have... Oh, that's, that's my personal email. Hold on. Close that. This one. Okay. So we got some emails. The first one is from Rick Crawford. He says, Batman, get Batman on the show, please. Batman's been on the show a couple times now. He was just on the show last week? Two weeks ago. Yeah. He was just on the show two weeks ago. Um, yeah. Go check out that replay. Batman's on there. Let's go back. Thank you for the email, Mr. Rick. Uh, Google security alert. Lewis Wynn says, WTF? Question mark. Uh-oh. I put this in chat, but apparently no one saw it. So here, I object. First, this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need a beer for this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that good, eh? I don't know. It just says, I object. He never proofreads. First, the stew didn't show up on my feed. Then it didn't show up on Stan's channel page. Then it showed up in my feed, but scheduled for 10 p.m. Mountain or MDT. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Uh, General <clears throat> Eastern Standard Pacific Central Atlas time. Now I see it started 36 minutes ago. WTF? <laughs> Sincerely, Fog Dog. Oh, I'm sorry, I said your name, bro. Um, dog. <clears throat> well, you know what? I, I, you got to be subscribed and you got to hit the bell. And that's really all I can tell you. However, or YouTube... you could join the Facebook group <clears throat> and then furthermore, the discord and there's always links uh, and, and tags and stuff like that. So YouTube is very, very bad at this kind of thing. Really, there's, really bad. The show is always at 9 PM central. We don't ever move it. If um, something but he's saying happens. the issue the issue he's having mm -hmm. is he can't search it. And I've had that too. Or even when I go to your page and you refresh and whatnot. Yeah. So the direct link you can always find a direct link on the Facebook group. That's the Vape Stew Crew on Facebook. Answer the questions. Twenty one plus. Obviously, what are you doing here if you're not? Bye bye. 
Um, and then there's also a link in the announcements to the Discord after you get in. But either way, that's you can get a direct link there, so you'll never miss it. Right. Never we'll always miss drop a direct link early. We also will always make sure um, to post if something happens and there can't be a show. I always put on the community tab um, about that, and we put in the Facebook group and the Discord as well. So uh, we try to make sure that everybody's pretty well informed on any happenings or goings on goings on for the vape stew. <clears throat> Mr. Anthony Ramella says, this is a question for Swaggins. Did you enjoy the twins pick on Instagram with Vandal? Love the vape stew, even when it's not perfect. Green stew Fridays rock. Hashtag green stew Friday. Much love, Anthony Ramella. Hell What's yeah. Doing, swag? I loved it. I, I told him so. I went and checked it because uh, I missed it initially because shit gets buried when you follow people on Instagram, a lots of people, but it's dope. And thank you for making me Arnold. Uh, it is still every day. Crazy to me that um, Chris, that, that I Chris Vandal looks so much like Vapor Swaggins. That's right, guys. It's been me the whole time. Chris Vandal. <laughs> Vapor Swaggins is actually going to be on the Friday fallout after this on the Amigos and Co channel. Uh, we got you. <laughs> gotcha. You've been swimming. You've been had. So You've been swagging. It's shed time. This is an image from Mr. Alex Davila. Uh, he sent us in his setup for this evening, and I got to say, I very highly approve. It is a totally Miami Vice keen with an ass guard on top, done by our very own Palmer's Powders. Uh, yeah, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I said that. Yes, I did. Um, <clears throat> very nice. Alex Davila, thank you very much for sending that. Uh, Terrell, Terrell said, billet box is better. Uh, he says, my billet box is better than yours, Stan. And he sent a picture of a plain Dude. Jane billet box. Uh, you know, and he, it's just a plain Jane billet box power, pow, pow, pop, P with the, with the shell button, um, with the big fat drip tip on it. And you know what? It's a really nice piece, but I do have to say claiming that is better than mine is, is not factually correct. Um, <clears throat> I, I do, I do enjoy your blue billet box though. Thanks for sending it in. Uh, I appreciate you. So let's go to the next email here. <clears throat> The next email is from our very own Angry Hippie. He says, here's something fun. Enjoy these hot nudes. <laughs> My dude. Thank you. And you know what? At the risk of being uh, kicked off of YouTube, I'm going to show them. So. Uh-oh. Here's the hot nudes he sent me. Now I gotta wait twenty seconds to oh, see what's on. happening. Oh, hold on. Let me let me let me hide his signature here. His signature's in here. Here we go. Bam. Uh, here's something fun. <coughs> Enjoy these hot nudes. That's them. There you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for the hot nudes, good sir. Uh, greatly appreciate you. Uh, next email we got is from Steve. Says Nick's kitty is cute. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he says hey Stu crew love catching the live stream when I can always entertaining shout out to Stan for the elbow fetish <laughs> thank you so much moist got the cad grip oh got the grip oh the grip number 35 with some strawberry the one on top and a Cali V2 yeah let's show this picture um, let's see here back to this Show this one off. Bam. I'm guessing Steve is Wigwam. Is that is that who Steve is? I'm a teepee. I'm a t I'm a wigwam. There you go. Relax, there man. Right You're too there. tense. But I'm huh? What? <laughs> when I don't hear it, the joke goes over my head. Yeah, watch so the can... replay. Oh fine. It's not funny anymore when I make you repeat it. Never. Oh, okay. I hate repeating myself. That's why I quit teaching. This 
is from Mr. Chad Dotson in the chat. Thank you very much, sir. He says, S-Tank and Mod 101. Yo. Oh, that's that's a crazy picture, bro. That's a crazy picture. Here, let's do this. I'll show this off. Bam. Let me adjust it here. We should play Quiplash after this. Live? <clears throat> Whatever. I just want to play Quiplash, man. I freaking love that game. <laughs> All right, so here is a closer picture of the mod. There we go. Very nice. The S-Tank is one of the good ones. The Stank don't stank. Uh, very nice setup. And very cool little uh, Day of the Dead skull guy or acid trippy skull guy. Um, let's see here. Last but certainly – oh, wait, there's a couple more. The Reluctant Vapor sent a picture of his setup. Ooh, that, is that a stank? Oh, stick. that's not that's not a setup. That's a setup quiver. That's a quiver. A so quiver I of setup. I say that. <laughs> I dude, I have to wait like thirty seconds, every, like every time. Like I'm trying to stay relevant, but it's really difficult. Oh yeah, I'm going a little fast, huh? I'm I just sorry. saw the stank and it just went away. <clears throat> I'm sorry, buddy. It's all good. All right, so here's the quiver of mods. His full setup. Watching Vape Stew and uh, Chillaxin sitting all... Okay, so there's a Hera. Um, that is a... I can't see. Hold on. Let me go back to the email itself. Okay, so <clears throat> you got a Hera with a GT4 on top. Um, this is an easy side-by-side -side with what looks like the BP mods uh, RTA on top. Um, another easy side-by-side with i can't see it oh i can I, see it now you got two of those ambitions mods collabs you got uh ooh, is that a hummingbird <laughs> my cat the cat's a in the bird the, the, one, on the, the second right. the second to the uh to the right <clears throat> that's a gt4 on a mix that no no i'm talking about the second from the right that mod is uh tech division oh yeah 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 Sorry, those I was, things are dope. And it has and that a one all the way on the it. left is the new new. That new new uh, collab, I think it's ugly. The Hera, it makes everything look longer. It's like I want things to look sleeker and smaller, and that thing just makes it look like, you know, a cartoon. You know, claymation took a punch out of it, and like a big chunk of it came out. The one all the way on the right is the mix with uh, uh, Mark Todd. Uh, Har har cloud rta on top with the that looks like the tip from the um direct long dwarf or the steam tuners that's a dl dwarf what's this tank on the left actually no those are steam tuner tips because he has a bunch of them the is t11 the typhoon, or t12 is this the new typhoon rdta on the left on top of the typhoon box it it could be any one of their RDTAs because they all look the same. It okay. could also be like from four one five. They have one that looks like that. I think Hellfire has we ones that look like that. that. Ah, yeah, we should do this later. What? It's in chat. Oh, Typhoon GX. Yes, it was. Dwarf FLDL. So we were pretty right. I missed the Dwarf. I couldn't really see it real good. Um, well, you can see the peak. Anyways, next is from Phil, and it is a picture of a goon with some last machine liquid and a lost vape. I think it's a lost vape mod. Um, hold on here. Let's do this. Let me just share that real quick, and it will be one of the last couple we're going to share and be done with. So there it is right there. Very nice looking setup. I enjoy it. Looks good. Uh, I like the goon. And uh, yeah, nice job, sir. The next Great. one is from Poon Sauce. <gasps> Better than any billet box, he says. And it's the biggest damn picture he could possibly post. There's zero way <laughs> I can show. There. Okay, maybe I can show this. I can't wait to see it. I'm like three setups behind you right now. <laughs> All right. So it is the. S tank. There's the goon. 
what Poon Sauce has given us is the S tank on top of the uh, One Gen R with Ooh. black buttons. Sexy little setup. Um, yeah, man, you are totally allowed to have your to have your opinion there, Mister Poon Sauce. I love you too, Tony Mitchell. Thanks for Tony the Tony Mitchell. Bucks. Twenty dollars. Thank you very much. She says, "Sorry, I don't hang out anymore. Too much work. Love you guys." Yeah, I I miss you, bro. I miss you a lot. Um, I love the S tank. It's so good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. And the last <clears throat> email that we got is from. Oops. Is from Fog Dog. Oh, he's he's just showing me C, and it says 10 p.m. It says 10 p.m. on the 20 21st. That's that's totally right. Like if you're on the East Coast. No, it was it was 12 a.m. the 22nd. To just nip that one in the bud, you put it for two hours ahead. It's okay. Let's let's just let's just. I did you know it. What we it's should right do. There, he said it says scheduled for 8 21 20. This is awesome. PM. Science. All right, all right, all right. Well, do you, you still work at a vape shop, Nick? Yes. If so, you want to tell us about it? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you say no? Uh, is there no today in the vape shop? Do -do 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 -do. I ran the bumper already. Oh, crap. Sexy, Nick. Constipated, Nick. All of a sudden, tired, Nick. Ugh. So tell us, bro. My... Tell us what happened in the vape shop today. Or I didn't get week. my nap in. <laughs> <laughs> um, today in the vape shop. Too much pussy. What? Um. Uh, I don't know what to say, really. I mean, it's been fairly uneventful. Um. <clears throat> Is it just, well, when you say, let me, we'll elaborate then. Um, so when you say fairly uneventful, do you mean, is it still crazy? Like it has been, you just, you've just gotten used to it. Like yeah. what's, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, 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 exactly. So essentially it's busier now than before lockdown. Um, we're doing more revenue. We're ordering more. We just got a $30,000 order in today and it's meant to just get us through the weekend. Wow. And that's you. That's what you spent. That's not what you're going to pull in. Right. That's what we spent. So we have to pull in more than that. Yeah. Well, so it's just for the weekend. I assume then that you're doing some really, really, really good business. Yeah. Good thing you have a 2% stake in that shop, man. You must be uh, like living the dream well, right now. Dude, if I could have, I would have, if I had the capital at the time when I first got in the company i would have invested like at least a little teeny tiny bit but uh yeah in any case yeah the shop is absolutely killing it now when we hit like you know five grand by 2 p.m and there's still seven hours of the day left to go uh and you go what are we at by the way and we take guesses we're like oh i don't know two two and a half and we look at the numbers and we're at like five and we both just were like the, all of my, me and my coworkers just kind of look at each other and go, Holy crap. It doesn't feel that busy. And that's the scary thing is that we're used to doing that much volume. Like, yeah, let's make the day go by real quick to put that into perspective. A typical day for us pre COVID pre mass ban was like 1500 bucks. And that was like, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty decent day you know there was literally two employees an opener and a closer nowadays we have an overlap time in the middle of the day where there's three employees working the rush right <clears throat> yeah for like the you know midday kind of rush busy hours and there's always two employees there at all times there how are the tips ho, 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 ho. you think people tip us we work retail man Dude, we get used and abused and spit out just like, you know, every other retail worker. You know what? Tip your retail workers if you're, you know, if you're that concerned about us. Like, I love essential workers. I love the doctors and nurses that are working so hard during this time. 
but you you have no idea how much more stress it's putting on retail workers and it's brutal it is absolutely brutal because people take their frustrations out on you the retail worker they they are mad they have to leave the house and do stuff anyways during this time they are pissed off because they don't want to wear a mask or whatever they think covid's fake whatever yeah they go to my shop and they just take it out on me and everything's my fault i have to do this for them i have to do that for them i need to, i owe them a coil because i sold them a bad coil intentionally you know have, as, you, have you refined your sarcasm as us as us vape shop employees do we, we just hand out bunk coils to people because we want them to get all mad or maybe you just hit it a little bit too soon before and didn't prime it or whatnot but yeah. and either way <clears throat> it's just causing a whole lot more stress just kind of all around retail bro yeah well <clears throat> at least you have a job that's doing well for now right for real i, I mean look man <clears throat> i'm glad i have a job i'm glad i never got put on unemployment unemployment or furloughed would have been nice to have that extra 600 bucks a week, but in either case, I made steady money throughout this whole thing and I am better off because of it, you know, uh, financially and, you know, just as a, as a person. Um, but it still puts a lot of stress on me, you know, uh, I don't know, man, what can I, what more can I say? I'm stressed out and That's I haven't crazy. been very, active in the discord i've been playing a lot of video games that's the way i take out my frustrations just you do you bro you still don't invite me to play any call of duty that's but. because you suck um you know what <laughs> i want to play you 1v1 in a private match oh you want to play hardcore and i want to stream it so everyone can see me whoop you ridiculously okay that's what i want to do <laughs> Okay, that'll we'll be streaming up. on um slightly yeah, buzzed Twitch TV. Stan will whoop your butt even with his aim bot off. <laughs> <laughs> even with his Russian hacks that he downloaded. Yeah, because you're <laughs> you're just straight awful. I'm not awful. Hey, in in multiplayer, I still have a positive KD. That's true. You do get carried very well. <laughs> <laughs> You have a positive KD because you run in and take the kill after somebody gets like half the life off the guy. Uh, now you're just beating a dead horse. Stan. I know, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not witty. What do you want from me? I got to jump on when I can. Um, Are we going to play some games or what? Let's go. Yeah. You guys, hey, you know what? We appreciate you. We're getting down to the bottom of the show. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much for being here. I know that I'm Ooh. one-sided audio uh and i've got to get some things fixed with the new computer the streaming but i hope it looks good i hope you guys enjoy the quality um trying my best to do things a little better um so next week the vape stew will run a little bit more smoothly as it does normally um but i just want to say thank you for being here you guys rock is there anything you guys want to say before we go nice pussy nick and with that, I want to say, you guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And remember, wear a seatbelt. Vape on, friends. Tip your retail workers. Pimp them. Pimp Tip them retail? No, I'm not Pimp. tipping retail workers. Have a good night.